it has been an interesting evening here at the Woodbury County Courthouse. Election Commissioner Pat Gill joins us once again. He's been telling us tonight kind of the update of the numbers. The numbers are in, things have been counted, you're starting to clear things away and some other, I guess, ballots are still coming in from some of the precincts. Um, how do you think today turned out? You said it's been a very low turnout day. Yeah, I was uh, yeah, disappointed with uh, the turnout. Uh, we're down about uh, oh, 7,000 votes, you know, it's just uh, uh, seven or 8,000. And, and it's just uh, been disappointing. Uh, and really, it, uh, the entire evening down here was different. I mean, historically, all the candidates and everybody would uh, gather, and it, it would be a, a fun evening. Uh, there was hardly anybody here at all tonight, and uh, we're just getting through it. And obviously, the voters have uh, made their choices, and it's a pretty good indication of which way uh, they uh, they were leaning. And, and what, it was uh, a what Republican sweep for all the contested races. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, there was just one where uh, a Democrat was unopposed. Other than that, uh, it was uh, pretty much the red wave that uh, people were talking about. And it happened. Um, how was in-person turnout today? Uh, that's where it was probably close to what it was uh, uh, four years ago. But I mean, the it was it was still less, and so was the uh, and obviously the early vote uh, was way down, uh, down by about six thousand. So, when, uh, probably a couple thousand last, the, on election day uh, that didn't turn out. Uh, you know, the storm might have had something to do with the election day, but not not that amount. And what do you think the overall um, total of registered voters? 51,800 in Woodbury County. Woodbury County. And yes. what percent showed up today? Uh, well, probably about 50, 54 percent. 50, so. 54 yeah. percent. Yeah, somewhere around there, yeah. And that's, like you said, lower than four yes. years ago. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Never experienced a night like this uh, before. Yeah, it's interesting. We have to see what happens with some of the state races yet. AP called it for Governor Reynolds. Um, what I looked at the state, uh, Secretary of State's website, there's still some of the precincts still coming in for some of those statewide races. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to look at any of those. What's, what's interesting, though, is some of the candidates who we haven't really even heard of much here in Woodbury County picked up a lot of votes. You're right. Some of the Republican candidates. Yes, it was. A, it's pretty much tribalism, as they say. Is that uh, that's that's the way it went. Uh, it was uh, pretty much a, a red wave. It definitely was. Well, Pat Gill, um, appreciate you talking to us because, like you said, we did talk to J.D. Shulton. He was the um, uncontested race, right? Um, and so we spoke to him earlier this yeah. evening. But it's been kind of a, a slow night here. Usually, like you said, it's kind of an atmosphere. Yeah. Um, Usually it was a lot of fun, but uh, things, have, things have changed drastically. What do you think is going on? I just think there's this polar, people are polar opposites right now, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's just, yeah. You look for some civility and it just isn't there anymore. I, I don't know what can be done about that. No. I mean, you've been doing this 25 years and I think people look at you, you've always given a non-biased with your job right you know have to be yeah you you tend to do that i've known you for many years yeah. and that's how you things run right yeah 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 i just uh do my job and try to do it in a, the most nonpartisan way that i can do it and uh i like doing it